Hello, I'm David Chaston with 989, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, with news of a huge jump in Chinese official spending to counter their slowdown, which is now getting serious. But first, American initial jobless claims continue to impress with the release of last week's data showing lower than expected levels. In fact, the lowest level in 15 years. But U.S. producer prices data out for April did not impress, indicating prices there are stubbornly low at the wholesale level. However, markets were happy with the combination of an expanded labour market and lower prices, pushing the U.S. dollar and stocks higher. Tension is rising in the Greek crisis, with the Greek finance minister lashing out at this morning at the ECB. Apparently he is angry that creditors won't forgive Greece debt it owes, and some view his outburst as a threat not to make some repayments. In China, electricity consumption rose there just 1.3% year on year in April. This data is often used as a more reliable indicator for how the Chinese economy is really doing. During the January to April period, power use in the primary industries fell 2.6% year on year, and secondary industries saw a drop of 0.8%. But the usage in tertiary industry surged 7.9%. Residential power consumption grew just 4%. And data is coming to light about what China is doing with its stimulus programs. The South China Morning Post is reporting this morning that official data shows China's fiscal spending jumps 33% in April from the same month a year ago. Also data out this morning from the USDA monitoring shows that dairy prices are not recovering yet. Most categories were stable, although there was a small fall for reported for skim milk powder prices. In New York, U.S. Treasury 10-year benchmark yields fell back slightly in today's trading. This is the first fall in more than a week and is now at 2.24%. The U.S. oil price is a little lower and now under $60 a barrel, while Brent crude is back under $67 a barrel. The gold price posted yet another good gain and is now at $1,225 an ounce. First quarter data out from the Gold Council shows that jewellery demand fell 10%. Bar and coin demand also fell while mine supply rose. Picking up some of that slack at low prices were the hedge funds. New Zealand dollar starts today pretty much where it was at this time yesterday at 74.9 US cents, 92.7 Aussie cents and 65.8 Euro cents. The TWI is at 77.5. I'm David Chaston. That was 9 at 9 brought to you by interest.co.nz.